So as you guys have maybe seen in some of my previous videos, uh, I've got a 3D printer here in the shop. And for a while now, I've been trying to figure out a way to combine screen printing with 3D printing. You know, I've been trying to like think of what could I uh, print that would help me screen print. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna get crazy and uh, 3D print a printing press or anything like that, but maybe something like a tool to help me screen print. At first I thought maybe something like these plastic uh, scrapers to help clean up ink or um, spread adhesive, uh, or maybe like a spatula, but eh, it was kind of boring. But then I thought, squeegee. A squeegee would be fun to print, I think. Uh, obviously I wouldn't be printing the blade that's made of rubber, uh, but the rest of it's just made of wood and that could easily uh, be made of plastic. All I really need to do is figure out how to model this shape right here and then just extrude it. And there you have it, a squeegee handle. Just a couple things up front. You know, I'm not making anything other than just an old school squeegee. You know, I'm not reinventing the squeegee here. I'm not going crazy. I'm not even trying to model one of those uh, new fancy easy grip squeegees, although maybe in a future video. And then the other thing, I can't really print like a very wide squeegee. Um, my printer I think can print up to 15 inches, but that would take forever to print that. And uh, I have no patience. So that went okay. It actually took me three tries to get the sizing right. This was the first one I made, which is obviously way too small to be a squeegee, uh, comparing it here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really, uh, I don't know what I got wrong about it, but when I went to go print it, I'm like, wow, that is very, very tiny. That won't work. And then this was my second one, which is bigger, but a little too long. That's what she said. So this one wouldn't quite work. And then uh, on my third try, I feel like I got it right. This one is pretty much perfect. Uh, it's the right, it's about the right thickness, the right length. So I went ahead and uh, printed a full size version of this. All right, so once I had that uh, cut down and glued into the handle, uh, I just let that dry and you know, it was feeling good. So then all I needed to do was test it out on a print. This thing held up surprisingly well. I don't know if you noticed, but um, I added a little bit more of uh, infill to this section of the uh, handle, uh, just to give it some extra stability when I'm uh, pushing or pulling. And I think that was definitely the right call. Otherwise, you know, this thing would totally snap. But yeah, it held up pretty well. I tried both a push and a pull stroke. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it feels like a squeegee, all right. The only thing I'll say is that maybe next time, if I make another one, that I would add more infill density to the top part because it does feel a little uh, light on top and heavy on the bottom. So just a little bit more uh, balance in the weight, I think would help it a lot. And now with that done, I guess all I need to do now is figure out how to make an easy grip. I don't really know why I made this, to be honest. I mean, squeegees aren't expensive. It's not like I'm trying to save money or anything by making my own DIY squeegee. Uh, I guess I just wanted to figure out if I could make it. And sometimes that's the fun part, is just figuring out if you can do something. By the way, is there like an easier tool that I could use to cut the squeegee blade? Uh, I was just using like a razor blade, which does not work very well. It was quite a struggle and it didn't even come out very smooth. So uh, yeah, if you know a tool that I could use to get like a, a quicker cut out of that, you just let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.